Cartoon recaps here. Today I'm going to be recapping an animation movie called, Lightyear. Spoilers ahead, relax and enjoy. The movie begins with Captain Bus Lightyear. Let's say he is the kind of person that likes to talk to himself, while he's alone. He is going around the world with his best friend called, Alicia. Who always mocks him because of how dramatic he is with his job. Alicia brought one of their rookie called, Feathering Hamstand. But when Buzz sees him, he is so unhappy because he might be a burden on his duties. While Boss is busy complaining to Alicia about bringing him along, Feathering Hamstand gets attacked by a sentient vine. Before they could realize anything, Buzz and Alicia gets attacked too. They fight the vine but feeling it's out of control, they all make their escape to the ship. Buzz still sees Feathering Hamstand trapped by the vine, he then quickly goes back to save him. Immediately, Buzz takes control of the ship. He sees a warning sign telling him that he might not make it past the mountain but he doesn't care, feeling so confident about himself. But as he takes off with the ship, it strikes the mountains really bad, which causes the ship to crash. Everyone that was on that ship is left helpless with nowhere to go on that planet. And the ship can't take off again because, the power source is totally destroyed. Buzz blames himself for all this and as a punishment for his mistakes, he decides to retire. But Alicia still believes in his capabilities and entrusted him with a mission of taking them away from the planet. The whole crew set up a basement on the planet, while they try their best to recreate the power source. As they are able to gather all the equipments ready, Buzz then finally constructs a hyperspace crystal and goes off to put it to test. Buzz takes off into space and is about to reach into the hyperspace but due to the heat of the sun the system begins to malfunction. Buzz's internal voice activator called Ivan warns that it will be dangerous if he continues the mission but he doesn't listen and moves forward. Buzz's speed then becomes unstable in this time, he has no choice and returns back to the basement. Buzz is welcomed by one of his crew called Diesh, but becomes really surprised that the young Diesh he knows has started to grow beards. He learns from him that while he was away, four years had already gone due to the time extension of the speed he has already traveled. Buzz then meets with Alicia, and shockingly sees that Alicia is already engaged now. To a woman known as Kiko, Alicia gifted him with a cat robot known as Socks to be his assistant, but Buzz doesn't seem to be comfortable and Everett's around him. Buzz decides not to give up and makes up his mind to try the hyperspace mission again, when he informed Alicia, she tells him that there is 95% possibility of the mission not going to be successful. But Buzz doesn't listen and is so determined to fix his mistakes. Thereafter, he proceeds on the next mission. Every time, he misses extra four years when he is outside the planet and whenever he comes back, he sees changes like Alicia been pregnant. Four years is gone and he returns again and sees her more older and is raising her son. Another four years is gone again and this time, all his friends, including Alicia, is now very old. One day, he returns from another mission and discovers that Alicia is already dead. She leaves a message for him, telling him that she misses him so much. And she feels sad that she won't be alive to see him complete the mission. Her granddaughter called Lizzie comes out saying she wants to be a space ranger just like her grandma. Buzz weeps really bad for his friend Demise. While he is really in a devastating mood, his new commander known as, Hal Burnside enters the room. Buzz is awaiting for his orders on his next mission to space, but the commander informs Buzz that he is no longer going to space. That they have decided to be living in the planet and he is even planning to make a kind of laser shield to protect their basement. But Buzz pleads with his commander to give him at least one more chance to go to space and fix things but instead, the commander dismisses him. Buzz returns to his room only to be welcomed by his annoying cat robot, Socks. Socks gets his attention by telling him that he has found the reason why his missions has not always been successful, and has perfected the, the formula for the hyperspace crystals. Suddenly two commanding operative enters his room and demands to take the cat robot away from him for security purpose. Immediately, Buzz breaks out of the window with the robot and steals a ship and with the robot assistant, he goes forward into another hyperspace test. While Buzz is about to take off, the security personnel catches him in this act and informs the commander, who orders all the security agents to stop him. But fortunately, Buzz successfully launches himself into space. In space Buzz is finally able to achieve hyperspeed, making his mission after all these years to be successful. When they crashes back into the planet, they find themselves in the future. As Buzz is trying to realize what is going on, someone on suit immediately drags him to a hiding spot, preventing a robot from spotting him. She opening her mask and it turns out to be Lizzie, Alicia's granddaughter. She tells him that while he was gone, robots attacked the planet and they are already in the process of taking over their territory. Izzy takes Buzz and Socks to her basement and introduces Buzz to her teammates called Momorison, 
and Darby Steel. Together, they are all finding a way to put an end to the robot apocalypse, and when they are set for their new mission, Robots starts to attack them. One of them tries to transport Buzz to their ship, but Team ties to help out, but it seems are so not experienced in this, until Mo luckily shoots the robot down to the ground. Buzz decides to separate from the team because of their inexperience, and go on the mission alone. Inside an unknown building, Buzz finds his old spacesuit, and while he is enjoying his moments he gets interrupted by Lizzie and her team, who still wanted to help him in his mission. Thereafter Buzz distributed a spacesuit to each of them, Buzz tells them to use the invisibility bottom on the suit to get past some huge bug creature. And the entire crew are able to make it into the ship, and with a massive launch, they are able to outrun the bugs. Their ship gets shot by a robot ship and crashed in the middle of nowhere. The crew then heads to a building where they can get an equipment, using it to replace the part that is destroyed in the ship. On the way, the leader robot attacks them. Buzz notices that the robot is after him and not them and instructs them they go back to the ship while he lures the robot far away. The leader robot traps him, and tells Buzz to join him but instead, Darby shoots the robot down. They immediately make their way into the ship, with the robots after them. Darby and Mo are in the back of the ship, preventing the robots from getting to them. But unfortunately, Izzy mistakenly injected the fuel source, that makes them to crash again. While Buzz is on the run to grab the fuel source, a robot grabs it before he does, and teleports itself. Buzz is really so disappointed about this, Lizzie seeing him at that state feels guilty, feeling responsibility for the mess they are in. But Buzz takes the blame on himself, for not living up to Alicia's expectations of taking them away from the planet. Suddenly the robot leader appears and captures Buzz, taking him back to its ship. The person controlling the robots is revealed to be Zerg. Zerg as well reveals himself to be an older Buzz from 50 years into the future. He explains to Buzz that he ended up in another timeline after achieving hyperspace travel. But when he returned the commander did not welcome him, but tries to attack him, seeing him as a fugitive. Zerg says they can now fix things by using the crystal to go back in time, so he can prevent himself from ever making the mistake that got them stranded on the planet in the first place. Buzz really loves the idea. But he realizes that he does that, Lizzie and their crew will be as if they have never existed, and the wonderful life Alicia had, will be reversed. Thinking about all these, Buzz decides to leave with the crystal not accepting his plan. But Zerg orders his robot to capture him. Izzy, Mo, and Darby later manage to teleport themselves to Zerg's ship so they can save Buzz. She sees Buzz outside the spaceship and manages to overcome come her fear. As for Darby and Mo, they are defending against the robot. As the ship is about to explode, the entire crew manages to making their escape. As Buzz is escaping with the crystal, Zerg catches him. As he is about to finish Buzz, he activated a kind of suit wings on his body and fires a laser that destroyed Zerg's space along with Zerg and his robots. Buzz is able to meet up with the others and assisted them land safely. The commander catches them, and Buzz is really expecting a punishment for disobeying his commander but suddenly, the commander appreciated him for all he has accomplished, and pronounces him a space ranger. But Buzz shockingly rejected the offer saying he already has his team. His team are now given a new suit and they now have their own ship. The crew blasts off, and their adventures continues. Thank you for watching guys. If you love animation movies, please subscribe to this channel and keep watching. Bye.